And welcome back to part three of this Star Fox Marathon. I'll be taking you through the hardest route, which is route three. And, you know, it's apparently the hardest one, but I find route two to be the harder one, actually, like I said. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Route three, we start in Corneria, and I really like the look of this Corneria. It's really kind of a unique spin on Corneria. You'll see what I mean. Corneria, the base. You've chosen course three. A good choice to take Venom by surprise. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. All right, scramble, scramble. Get out of there as fast as you can. Still don't know what you say. All right, looks like it's like dusk or dawn, one of the two, and I really, really think this is awesome. Now, this is the hardest, most challenging uh, corn area we've seen yet, so we've got new new things to worry about, like the slanted uh, slanted archways, which, you know, if you, wanna, if you want your twin blasters, you're going to have to go through them. Man, I'm doing pretty awesome so far. So, you, if you don't destroy those turrets, too, sometimes they fire backwards like the big spiders in Route 2. So, uh, yeah. And these, these can be a tad tricky to navigate through. And, yeah. There's the Twin Blaster back there under that garage. So, we're going to have to do it. You know, we're going to have to break at the right time. Break. Well, I got them anyway. That's what matters. That's what matters in the end. There's some more of those triangles. So it kind of reminds me of Route 2, only, you know, on a different time of day. But it's a bit harder. Here comes some towers and some uh, kamikaze uh, ship things. Whatever they're called, I, I don't even know. What I'm sure they have names. Dang, that was terrible. Here I am trying to be a good pilot and showing you guys all the tricks and stuff. I can't even... I can't even navigate. What's wrong with me? Anyway. Enough self-pitying. Enough self-pitying. Whoosh. Alright, and there's a guy right there waiting for you, so it's... It's another reason it's kind of difficult. You know... As difficult as this can be sometimes, it's nowhere near as difficult as the training mode stay in formation. That's impossible. Anyone who's played this game knows exactly what I'm talking about. Because it's impossible to stay in formation. And where are those guys bringing that giant triangle thing? Nowhere, I guess. Nowhere now. Mom. All right, lots of buildings, and this really, this really uh, messed me up when I was a kid. I'd try this level and I'd be dead and game over long before I got this part. Little, you know, did I know? I didn't know I could barrel roll. So, yeah. Always take the left, because that's your halfway point, unless you're desperate for a bomb. I usually take halfway points over bombs. Man, these guys are really carrying some stuff. Phil, I shouldn't even shoot those guys. They're probably not even bad guys. Now, stay, stay kind of low here. Hey, up. Well, sometimes that works. Alright, so here comes the boss, and it's different than the attack carrier, which is a nice, you know, refreshing touch. It's kind of like a three-headed tank. You want to shoot the covers, because if you don't shoot the covers, they'll go back down and regenerate the turrets that shoot at you, those things in the bottom. So you can destroy those, like I just, I just destroyed that one to show you guys that you can destroy them, obviously. But that middle one's going to go back down, and it's going to regenerate. It's going to regenerate some more, and now they're going to go back down. So it's a great way to prolong the battle if you really like battling this guy, I guess. Alright, that's one destroyed. And they'll start flying at you, too, so that's, that's kind of scary. Ouch. Alright, so that one turret's done. Take care of that one guy. 
Yeah, he's starting to fly at me. Did you see that? He's starting to fly. And that's that for that tank. Not very tough. Not as easy as the attack carrier, but certainly not as tough as some of the bosses out there. The boss on Macbeth is pretty tough. That one usually gives me a hard time. The one on Fortuna can be tough too, but I can usually take that guy down pretty quickly. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? A hundred! And the credit! We deserve extra credit. We're Star Fox team. This asteroid belt, though. This one right here is awful. I hate this level. Use the LRR button to escape the tractor beam of the enemy battleship. You can do it, Fox. Well, I'm glad you believe in me. I'm glad somebody does because I hardly believe in myself when it comes to this level. So I'm going to just go out of uh, pilot mode because there's going to be a lot of dodging in this level. And not the fun kind, like in uh, Sector X back in Route 2. You know, I, I don't like dodging asteroids. There's lots of death balls and lots of asteroids and everyone's in danger all the time. Oh, what's a leader to do? Oh well. I knew the dangers when I put on the uniform, right? So I think if you shoot that asteroid too, something might happen. Or maybe it's that one. I can't remember. I hardly ever look for the secrets. And I encourage you to, uh, go look up the secret routes and secret uh, locations on YouTube after this if you'd like to see them, if you'd like to see exactly what I'm talking about. Like the big whale and the black hole and uh, yeah, fly through here, get your twin blaster. Or the thing that carries a twin blaster, I should say. Get it, get it, get it. Good. I feel better already. There's nothing like a twin blaster to make you feel more secure. It really, really does. It's kind of like when you lose your wallet. And then you find your wallet. <laughs> it's kind of like... Kind of like that. It honestly is. It's like finding something really useful that you're missing. Oh, no little pilot in that one. Like I said, sometimes you'll blast them and then the little pilot will be left over and... Yeah. I thought this was supposed to be an army of monkeys, but the pilots kind of look like lizards. Kind of look like Leon, you know? Leon from Star Wolf in uh, Star Fox 64 and uh, Star Fox 2. Get out of the way, Peppy! Ugh. Okay, and this part's awful. I hate these. They cling to the asteroids, and they make them sit there, and then when you kill them, you have to get right out of the way because... Well, they'll they'll fly at you, obviously. And later on, you're gonna see some really, really interesting asteroids. Right there. Right there. Some people compare that to uh, the Majora's Mask uh, moon. I... I'm almost dead. I should shut up. No, I'm not gonna shut up. I like talking to you guys too much. But this is why I hate this level. It's just all over the place. I can't... Thank goodness the boss is coming. I thought I might have been dead on that moon. I'm surprised I'm not dead. Holy mackerel. Okay. So, normally when you have normal lasers, you don't want to fire them at this guy when he's spinning. Because they'll fire back at you. And that's the thing. You have to you have to barrel roll to get out of that. If it, if it gets you and sucks you in, you have to barrel roll out of it. But as I was saying, if you have regular lasers, they'll bounce back and they'll hurt you. They'll hurt a lot. So you don't want to do that. With these uh, big Nova Twin Blaster uh, upgrades, it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't seem to bounce off of them. So that's lucky. You can fire at them if you're trigger happy like me. And he's almost dead. Now, when he dies the piece will fall off of him and I don't really I don't really want to find out if that hurts you or not <laughs> especially now I have no health left and it's a good thing this guy isn't very aggressive so yeah covered up so we're gonna have to wait another turn 
So doodly doodly do. I guess he gets somewhat aggressive if you let yourself get caught in that tractor beam. Okay, so he's gonna come apart and it's gonna fly at you. Do everything you want to do to avoid that. I don't even know if it hurts. Like I said, I just don't want to take the chance, especially now. With that said, stage two is done. And we're on our way to Fortuna, I think. Actually, I really like Fortuna. The level is really kind of cool. It's it's different. Yeah, there it is. I think. Oh, yeah, only 80%. Dash it all. Oh, well. Off to Fortuna. This is one of my favorite levels in the game. Because it's got big creatures. And I like creatures. Kind of looks like Earth. The planet Fortuna. Andros has taken control of the huge creatures who live on Fortuna. Take care, Fox. Good Thank luck. you. Oh, and the music, it's awesome in, in this game, too. And, I mean, well, in this game, it's awesome, but the music in this level is great. So this level is uh, kind of split into three sections. You get this grassy part, and then you go over an ocean, and then you get onto the other side of that ocean. So that's it's really cool. Oh, they're slipping in trouble. Very safe. There's a giant dragonfly. And some giant bees or giant mosquitoes or something. Oh, that was close. That dragonfly almost got me. But I'm a beekeeper in real life, and those things don't look like any bees I know. Of course, I live on Earth, not Fortuna. But I bet Fortuna would be a planet that we could inhabit, you know? I bet it would be livable. And these creatures would normally be pretty peaceful. They're just under Andros' control right now, so that's why they're all ready, you know, to attack you. Just that bee exploded. I just don't know if I'd want to put a house on the land. A giant flower might take it away. Anyway, uh, get on that, Hubble. Go find us a planet that we can roost on. Okay, so yeah, like I said, we're over the ocean. You get like these birds that make a really weird sound when you kill them. Yeah, there's one. Oh, help me. Hey, it's me, Slippy. We'll get out of the way. I know it's you. Help me take down these giant pelicans. Please, I beg you. Okay, there's giant sea monsters. Giant sea monsters. Yeah, okay, When after you get the shield, um, it can get really kind of crazy, so I don't imagine I keep the shield for very long. I don't normally. Like, these things shoot fire, and that's that's dangerous. And they'll shoot fire if you miss them, too. Like, they'll, they'll shoot it at the back of you. Yeah, I've already lost my shield. Boy, lots of... Lots of... Uh, Barrel rolling, free life, but you gotta get it before that guy shoots ya. Oh man. I don't know if I'm gonna live. I might, I, I think there's another ring that I can go through that'll give me some health, so that's good. Yeah, okay, so just like group one, Slippy is the guy in trouble these days. I really do believe that Falco get out. <laughs> Falco doesn't seem to get in a lot of trouble. Okay, I already feel better. So even if we get uh, another, maybe uh, another uh, health ring, we'll probably be at full health. There's one. Yes, okay, we're, we're sitting on top of the world. I got lots of bombs. I've got my full twin blasters. Um, there's another twin blaster there. Uh, if you need it, fortunately we don't, so let's keep going. Do -do 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 -do. These flowers are random. Alright, I think we're nearing the boss. There's gonna be... Yeah, here we go. Now, it's a giant chicken, and I remember... Does anyone remember the Nintendo Power comics? Um, that they used to publish. They used to have a Star Fox comic, and I only had one of them. The only... The only one that I had had this guy in it, so that's... I didn't know about him back in the day. I just read the comic first. You know, I was too... I was too in a... 
underskill to get to this part. But yeah, it had him in it, so I thought he was kind of neat, and they brought him back for Star Fox Zero. All right, one more hit, one more hit. Just gonna knock down his heads. And that's the thing, you gotta avoid him, because he'll, he'll crash into you with his body. That's how he attacks you, really. I kind of feel bad, because this thing is just around, you know? And a big fleshy thing explodes just like that. Oh well, victory battle rolls all around. I'm doing pretty good. Macbeth is pretty hard though. Lots of volcanoes, especially those upside down volcanoes. Those are really, really tough. Fortunately, you can shoot whatever they spew out at you. 98%. Well, I'll take it, for sure. I'd love to 100% every route in this game completely one day. I haven't done that yet. I have 100%ed every route one level. Sector Z, your team is doing well, Fox. I hope you're taking good care of my R-Wings. Go for Macbeth. Go for Sushi. That's a restaurant we have here in my city, so it's funny. Okay, this is a really hard level. Um, it's got, it's like Sector, it's like Sector X, but like way harder. And if I said, if I said this was Sector X at one point, I, I'm sorry, I, my mistake. <laughs> so I have a feeling I called this place Sector X. Yeah, so it's, you know, there's lots to, lots to screw you up in this level. And the boss we have seen before, only it's a little harder. And it's kind of got a different strategy. That little guy. Oh, there, there he is. There he is. The little guy in there. The poor little guy. He's probably going to get batted by one of these things. So as hard as this level is, I'm going to try and show off a little bit for you guys. Just because I love you all. There's some twin blasters. Fortunately, we still have ours. Oh, that was pretty good, but it kind of ended out badly. Oh, wow. Okay. Good. That worked. Now, this is one of those levels where it does get impossible to, like, dodge everything. Unless you're a god. And you have to hug one of the bottom right or bottom left-hand screens, depending on where you are. So, oh my goodness, Falco, get out of the way or shoot. If I ever was Fox, that's what I'd spend most of my day telling these guys. Help me or get out of the way. I'd need to find some new guys. They are a bit more helpful as the games go on, so that's thankful. That, I mean, I'm thankful for that, so, yeah. And the frame rate just chugs. Just chugs. Oh, well. Okay, here's a shield, so you know something bad is going to happen soon. Seems like they, in these later levels, they'll give you a shield if they know something really bad is going to happen. All right, here's what I'm talking about. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. And uh, it didn't it didn't work because <laughs> I already lost my shield, but if you hug the bottom corners and you break, you know, when you can, I think you'll you'll be okay. And those things, if you shoot them in whatever direction they're facing, you know, whatever the arrows are facing, oh man, you can actually stop them from spinning, so that's kind of a, that's kind of nice. So, yeah, see like that, right there. Okay, so here's another part where you want to go and hug a corner. If you can, watch out, because this is, this is tough. For the longest time, I, I'm, I'm even doing bad now, so maybe this is the wrong corner to do it. I can't remember from time to time. And don't worry, he'll, he'll straighten himself out. So yeah, just be careful in these tight spots. spots. Wow, okay. A little health, that's always nice. I wish I had another ring or so in here. I guess these guys pretty much always give you rings. So yeah, I have more health than I thought I would. Now like I said before, just hug the ground. You'll never get hurt by that thing. 
open up the doors. And here you are. Remember this guy? There's a different way to fight him. You have to turn off his thing so they don't blow up. You have to shut them off. And if you hit them, you know, again while they're off, they'll turn back on. You'll have to do it again. See, I, I just turned another one on. Okay. And you know the hit detection can be really, really touchy. Alright, that's one. See, it looks like I should be hitting him. But, but I'm not. Okay, and back around we go. There's a guy over there. There, he's dead. Should hit him now. Okay, that's another one. Okay, go for it. Go for the center and barrel roll. Don't worry about the lasers, just barrel roll and shoot them. Yes, and there you go. See you later, Candy Cane. Will he make it out? Will he? Is there ever any doubt? There he is. Like a bad penny. Okay, off to probably one of the harder levels. Not that this one was a cakewalk. This one was a really tough one. I, the asteroid one and this one are really tough. Yet I got 99%, so that's pretty good. We got a couple credits just in case we do get a game over. I'm trying not to. But, you know, you never know. Things can take you by surprise. Admittedly, Venom's bosses are pretty tough. Especially if you only have the one blaster. The planet Macbeth. The hollow interior of Macbeth is ideal for a base. Prevent Andros from building here. Good luck. Thank you. Seems like we do a lot of preventative measures for uh, base building. All right, this is a really cool level. It's hard, but it's really cool. Kind of reminds me of the meteor from Route 1, only hot. I get a really hot vibe at this level. It's like this level is like Venus, kind of. Maybe even Mercury. With a little bit of Mars in there for good measure. Then you mix it all together and you get a whopping good space too. Lame, I know. Just how my mind works. <clears throat> all right, so yeah, it's funny because if you if you uh, those guys are on the top, so if you uh, go to the top, you're not going to get hurt. It's kind of like going completely to the bottom. It's like a, it's a, it's an illusion that you'll fly into the top and be hurt. So don't worry about hugging the the uh, roof if you need it. And around one of these corners is a really hard to get twin blaster. So fortunately, we're we're still golden for that. And it's around either this corner or the next one. Yeah, this one. Did you see it? It went by. You know, and there's nothing we can do. Obviously, if we needed it, I'd go for it. But yeah, it's it's a tough one. Alright, there's those volcanoes. Fortunately, you can shoot the uh, rocks that come out. Alright, and we got a shield, so how long will that last? Hopefully, for a while. So if you're not on the ball, this level is pretty hard. Now, those volcanoes on the roof, you just want to go the opposite side of the room of where they are. Pretty easy to avoid. Alright, there's our halfway ring. And we're gonna shoot some of these down. If they come and kill you, they're they're pretty hard hitting too, but you know we got our we got our shield on so that that, that affords us a little extra hits obviously. Not that I want to lose the shield. Oh yes, and there was Slippy in trouble once again. Now he's gonna pretend to help us so we can get his paycheck. But he's really just gonna get in the way. I don't hate you Slippy, I really don't. I know half the world does, but eh, I have a soft spot for you because I like frogs. Oh, I thought I might have lost my shield. I just did. Okay. That's all right. It took us through the level. And there it is. That's a really strange boss, but you just shoot it and avoid its little energy death balls like the plague. Barrel roll if you need to. Ah, 
Like I said, sometimes the barrel rolling isn't all that faithful. It's not even called a barrel roll, it's an early on roll or something like that. I can't even remember. But barrel roll is different. I, I'm no pilot, so what do I know? All I know is it's different somehow. All right, shoot the core and, you know, use your barrel rolls, use your bombs if you have to, because this is, this is a really uh, hard hitting boss. But, you know, I'm mostly in a, in a race of who can, <laughs> who can win the fastest. So if you need to break, I recommend breaking. And there you go. Sweet. We've still got our, uh, We've still got our twin blasters for uh, the next level. That's that's really that's really nice, especially at this point in the game. Celebratory barrel rolls, alien rolls. So far, so good, good, good. So anyway, it's great to keep the uh, twin blasters at this point because we're gonna need them. Wow, 100%. I. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's the first time I might have got 100% on this level. I'm not joking. Alright, Venom. Final level. The final cut. Venom, the final goal. <laughs> You've made it this far. It's your fate to destroy Andros. We're counting on you, Fox. Thank you. All right, same as the last stages. Stay in cockpit view. Blast away, blast away, blast away. Now your teammates will inevitably get in your way because that's what they like to do. But you just want to blast everything. Blast everything. Now the boss in this level can be super annoying. And you'll find out why. Usually it takes a really long time, so I hope, I hope, I hope to the good Lord above that that doesn't have to happen. And I can just take him out like a boss myself. <laughs> you know, for you guys, I, I hope that doesn't happen. But usually when I'm playing this, it's not uncommon for me to spend at least half an hour on this guy. So, well, maybe a half an hour is get out of the way, Peppy. Maybe half an hour is, you know, exaggerating, but he's, he's annoying. Blast, 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 blast everything. Bomb that end. You get another bomb. And I missed the, I missed the shield, of course. Alright, so, help Slippy or get the, uh, halfway point. Well, I guess I'll just do both. Why have one when you can have both? Doesn't make any sort of sense. All right, one of the pilots gonna pop out. Yep, yep, there's one. All right, I want another one. Another one? No. No, 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 no. That might be the last pilot we see. To all those pilots that float adrift into space, I salute thee. I salute you all. But you were bad. And now oh, there's another one. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, there's those shield things, they have to turn around. But I'm mostly trying to take out these suicidal triangle things. Maybe suicidal isn't the right word. Kamikaze, that's what kamikaze triangles. So I hope you don't mind my rambling. It's uh it's kind of incessant, I know. Okay, here's the boss. Alright, so there it is. He's gonna play chicken with us a couple times while he assembles himself up. Yeah, this is... It's just kind of showing off what it could do back in the day right now, I think. Which was really cool. I mean, you didn't, you didn't get these kinds of games at home, right? Yeah. This is kind of the first one, I think. Alright, so he's a three-tiered guy. He's kind of like a Transformer. Kind of like Optimus Prime. And this guy is a son of a gun to hit. I hate fighting this guy. So he's over there now at 
forces us to go this way. I find a pretty good strategy for this guy is to kind of get low and shoot him, you know, like sideways. See, I just hit him there, and that was lucky, so hopefully I can do that for all the time. And I've got five bombs, which is a good thing. You'll need them. But I won't use my bombs just yet, just in case. Oh, man. Oh, I might have hit him. Maybe. Can't even really tell. I'm not... I'm just trying to pay attention to how this guy acts. And he acts like a real tool. Well, okay, so I got all those three sides done. That's that's nice. Really nice. Because that's a, that's a hard thing to do. Now just to get to the other sides. And the more this guy takes damage, <laughs> the more stuff he throws. So, you know, I'm going to start being more liberal with my bombs. There we go. Gonna come back around. Maybe this will be the last time. I'm gonna shoot another bomb. Okay, I got him again, but he's still alive. Fortunately, I have three chances left with those bombs, and if I have to, I guess I'll try to, you know, take him out with lasers, although it's freaking impossible, especially on the side I am now. Easier on the other side. Ouch. I did it! Alright, good, 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 good. Man, you know what? I'm not joking. This is... I'm doing really good. Yeah, you, you go down there, you die. Although I know you're not dead because... Well, we're... You'll see. You'll see. It's kind of a tradition, you know, to have the boss on Venom be fought twice. Spoiler! Alright, 100. I kicked it. I kicked that good. All right, stage seven. Looks a lot like stage one, except it's about five times harder. Maybe a little harder than that. With more things to get in your way to crash, more things to fly through, more walls that need uh, direction changing, more things that'll drop on you, more things that'll flip around you. There's a shield, hopefully I can get that. Oh boy. Yeah, Master Pilot. Oh, got it. Good. Lots of the time I'll miss that one just trying to avoid those things, and I guess that's the idea. They put it in the most craziest places. There's some more innocent people in the buildings that fly. They're kind of like... I don't even know what they're like. They look like space carrot sticks. Space Cheetos. With people inside them. Okay, there's some that are here that will just fall down. Yeah, okay, they're slippy in trouble once again. The guy is nothing but trouble. Don't know why I ever took him anywhere. Guess we all need a good laugh. Good laugh once in a while. Alright, there's a door that uh, you can change, but I, I don't think so. This one you'll have to change is on the side. That one you'll have to change. This one... <laughs> You'll have to hope that it changes to the right side you want. There's some twin blasters there. All right. No. Ah. Oh. oh shoot. 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 Oh man. Okay. Okay. All right. Better the shield than our health. Uh, always, right? Better the shield than our health. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, quit trying to be a showboat. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm just reckless. Well, it's not me, it's Fox, right? But I am Fox. At least when the game's turned on, I'm Fox. Enough of that. Enough of that. There's some two-legged guys, and they're they're hard, you know. I don't think I think they're pretty much impossible to take down with just a regular laser. Look how long it's taken to me to shoot them. There's walls that appear. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. This is insane. I really like Route 3, though. I, I love I love this route, because it's just got such a great challenge to it. Yeah, that's the corner you want to stay down. You want to stay down that part, because... Because you just do, you know? Otherwise, you're going to get hurt. And that guy up there, he's really hard to hit. Ugh. Okay, so here comes the boss once again. 
and he looks like a transformer. You'll you'll see. I would have really liked this as a toy, as a as a kid. You know, this would have been a great toy to have. I was I was always too uh, poor to afford the Transformers, but you know, I mean, Power Rangers were a thing when I was a kid. <laughs> so you shoot him in his glowing nether region area, and he'll start shooting silver balls at you. Silver balls, silver balls, silver balls. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so he'll shoot uh, missiles at you too. So sometimes if you hit them, uh, you know, yeah, you'll get you'll get a ring. So if you're if you're low on health, um, that's a good uh, that's a good time to do it. That's a good thing to do. This is this this can be challenging. It really can be, especially with your one laser. So I'm really hoping I live. He's almost dead, so I should. Yep, yeah, there we go. He he'll die. But, here's the second part. And I'll probably use my bombs for this guy. Yeah. So, all you have to do is ma basically go down whenever his body comes near you. Otherwise, you know, he'll, he'll hit you. He'll throw those little things out. That's it. All right. So, man, I don't think I've died yet. I don't, I don't want to jinx nothing, but I don't think I, I, don't think I died at all uh, on this route. I don't think I did, so that's that's always that's always fun. Alright. Into Andros's final lair. Final lair of Andros. Ah, your choices of roots took me by surprise. Your father was a reckless fighter too. Arr, he's a pirate. He only knows the ways of the sea. No. Oh, no, never do that. Never. Always, always go to top, top over that one. Never bottom, because you'll never get back up to top quick enough. But Andres is always so nice; he gives you twin blasters. But this will be the McLeod's last battle. You're right; it will be, because there's no other routes in this game to visit. Just the secret levels, which I'm, uh, I'm not gonna do. Sorry. Okay, so, yeah, basically, rinse and repeat, and I'll try and suck you in. And, um, yeah, shoot up his nose. That's always an important step, you gotta shoot up his nose. Alright, so, shoot out his eyes. He just has a little more endurance uh, every time you fight him, so... That's... That's what you have to watch out for. Although, this time you fight him, he does turn into something kind of neat. I, I really like the design that uh, that they used. It's, it's really cool. So, you want to shoot his eyes. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There's one down. And there's two down. Alright. So, you shoot the brain. It's tougher than ever. But you want to shoot that. You never get it the first time. You'll never get it because they want you to see this part. Isn't that awesome? I think that's really cool. I mean, I, I wish Andros looked like that more often than not. So that's that's really neat. It's like a devilish bulldog type thing. It's it's really neat. Oh. Okay, I gotta I gotta watch what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So. Gonna be getting his eye, hopefully soon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not this time, I guess. But fortunately, we start off right in the hallway. I'm not gonna bother reading his quotes. I read them the first time. I'm not paid enough to read them the second time. I just have to read them yourself. No, no! Oh. Okay, well, at least that wasn't as... At least that wasn't as bad as last time. I'm still holding it together pretty pretty nicely. Oh, not if I do that. Okay, so we, we're down uh, Twin Blaster, but at least he's 
nice enough to give us some. Fox, I am your father. Wouldn't that be twisted? A monkey and a fox. Father and son. Wouldn't that be stupid? You know what? I thought when I was a kid, I was like, wouldn't it be funny if that was the case? If Andros was the fox's father. Wouldn't that just be hilarious? Maybe not. Maybe that would just be twisted. <laughs> fox, James was never your father. It was always Andros. <laughs> <laughs> Although you know, there, I don't think there was a James McLeod in this uh, in this part yet. And there was, it was just this, you know, it was just this. They don't even own their own ships in this one, which is interesting. You know, I I didn't even think about that, but man, they really revamped it for the '64, which is kind of too bad. I, I I admit, I really I like this game better than I like the '64 one. Unpopular opinion, I know. Alright, you gotta shoot that, shoot that, shoot that, shoot that. I got more bombs where that came from. Devilish dog. I also wish Star Fox 2 would have made an appearance, you know, for real. Like, I wish it was, I wish it was never cancelled, because... Uh, it would be interesting to see... Ugh. It'd be interesting to see where the series would be now, you know? It just makes you wonder if it would have kept on the same or whatever. Oh, frick. <laughs> frick! Sammy Classic Sonic fan. Frick! No, I'm sorry. Okay, well, this is... This has got to be it. I, uh... I have to do it this time. I just have to. How nice to get that ring when I don't need it. I could use it in the middle of that battle, though. Okay, up this time. Oh, it's still... <laughs> I didn't go up enough, I guess. But I'll have more health, it looks like. Maybe, maybe. At least we have our twin blasters to help us. We got four bombs. But this will be the McLeod's last battle. Okay, this one will be the last battle. Assemble your face. Very, very beautiful. Shoot out your blue, blue eyes. Blue, blue kangaroo. That's what my friend used to say, I think. I, I can't remember. Two blue kangaroos. And it was, it was stupid. Never mind. I don't even know why I'm saying this stuff. I hope you guys aren't bored. <laughs> All right, Wandross, come on. That's one eye, that's one eye. Oh, is he shooting lasers or those mine? Ugh. Those must be mine. I don't think he shoots lasers like that. Telekinesis, not lasers. Boy, that's an ugly guy. Okay, I'm gonna see the dog phase. Hey there, dog. What kind of sound is that anyway? Have you ever guys, have you ever wondered what he was, is he laughing? Is he in agony? What, what is it? Like, I don't know, is he, is he one of those freaks that likes pain? All right. Okay, I think that's, yeah, we haven't done this yet, so maybe this time, maybe this time. Yes, got him. All right, we did it. That's Route 3, folks. Time to blow this psychedelic area pop stand. Will he make it out? Will he make it out? Got a boost? Of course he makes it out. Did you ever doubt? He made it out. Did you ever doubt? Rhymes. Anyway. All ships check in. Rip it all. Bring up the rear, Fox. I'm behind you, Fox. I'm with you, Fox. And I'm with you, too. In spirit. That's kind of creepy. Alright, so... Um... General Pepper's bill is going to be huger than ever. Because... We just did all three routes. And killed Andros three times. But he'll be back. In Star Fox 2. 
Well, no, he won't. Not officially. Almost was. But alas. Alas. Stage 1, 100%. Stage 2, 80%. Stage 3, 98%. Stage 4, 99%. Stage 5, 100%. Stage 6, 100%. Stage 7, 100%. I do not know how the scores go. Like, how? How? How now, brown cow, do these scores make any sort of sense? I don't know. Only 96. Last time it was 99, the time before that. What the heck? Oh well. Cornelia, Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Cornelia. <laughs> I love those little voice snippets. Bye, Fox. Bye, Peppy. Bye, 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 Falco. Bye, bye, Slippy. Thanks for being you. All right, boss. Roll call. Who's who? This one is Destructor. Weapon is plasma. Oh yeah. And this guy who will bounce your lasers back, but not the totally upgraded twin blasters. Blade barrier. Weapon. Web attack. Oh, and King Dodora. I guess it's probably a play on the word dodo. Because it can't fly, I guess. Or Doduo. Kind of like that Pokemon. Monarch Dodora. Weapon. Fire Breath. Kind of reminds me of Doduo now that I think about it. The Pokemon. It's like his crazy, crazy cousin. Alright. Giant Candy Cane Atomic Weapon. Topic base number two. Pardon me. Weapon Laser. Keep up them dreams. Alright, then this weird thing that almost got us, but we got him first, didn't we? It's like a dreidel. Spinning core. Weapon laser. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay. I don't know. Sorry. Alright, so you got this transforming thing. The Great Commandor. Weapon Laser. Now we get to his Optimus Prime version. Which isn't Optimus Prime, obviously, for copyright reasons. Name the Great Commander. Weapon Iron Balls. Yes, they sure were. And last but not least, Andros. It's too bad we didn't get the picture of him as the dog. That would have been awesome for Route 3. It would have been, you know, a cool thing to just do for Route 3. Okay. Well, here's the credit roll. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And maybe you caught this at the beginning. Maybe you just caught this right now. Maybe you caught me in the middle. But, you know, either way. I appreciate you uh, spending your time with me and watching me and listening to my ramble and my idiotic joking. Maybe you guys found it funny, maybe you didn't, I don't know. I'm not you, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and sticking through this. I really had a fun time doing this, this is a lot of fun. If you guys have any suggestions of games that you know you might want to see, let me know. I'll tell you if I have the card or not. So, yeah. Thanks so much for sticking around with me through this. This is a ton of fun. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I just really, really, really had fun. Okay. Bye-bye, and thank you again.